Today we are focusing on Hispanic businesses, specifically multi-generation owned businesses in the coastal bend and the financial challenges they face. Yeah, we visited with Del Mar College's Small Business Development Center to see how these legacy shops have found maybe the secret recipe to success. Starting a small business is no easy task. Access to capital is always a big challenge. Factor in if you're a minority and your chances for success drop even further. Hispanic small businesses um, attempt to start six times more often than any other ethnicity. And if you try to maintain a family owned business or legacy business, things get even trickier, according to Ann Farova over at Delmar College Small Business Development Center. It's not as common as you, we'd like. Mm -hmm. um, there is a growing trend for family owned businesses to having trouble finding the next successor. Um, and so we're working with businesses to um, on succession plans. However, there are plenty of success stories here in the coastal bend. Banuelos Tires is going on three generations of owners. Snowball, Snow Cones or Aspa, is in its second generation. And even tortilla companies like Marroquin Restaurant and Tortilla Factory are prospering finding their place against big box grocery stores and other retailers. Five million Hispanic owned businesses generate $800 billion in economic impact for the country. Verova says when starting off, Hispanic owners tend to rely on savings or family sweat equity to begin their venture. There's a tendency to be um, debt averse. They don't like to borrow money. Ultimately, success can come down to multiple factors. Verova says there are several groups to turn to for free help, such as hers, the Island University's Innovation Center, Workforce Solutions of the Coastal Bend, and even the Chamber of Commerce. Again, there are resources available. Just reach out and start that conversation. These groups want to see you succeed, and Ab we want to see you succeed, absolutely. too. Absolutely, and what's neat about this is tomorrow we're going to show you some of the businesses that we mentioned in our special Cocina Conversations and what you can learn from them if you're starting out a business. So be sure to tune in for details on that. Uh, we had a lot of fun meeting with those families, Benuelos and, yes. and Snow. Yes, and Jennifer with Snowball. Snowball, and of course we were at Kiko's with amazing food. <laughs> Thank you. We'll explain Thank it all you tomorrow. All. Yes, <laughs> how you can view that. It's really yes, great. Yes, absolutely. Great